Hello and welcome to this Sports Report update. I'm Matt Finkel coming to you from the Schottenstein Center in Columbus. Boys basketball state championship Saturday today. And in Division Three, it's a rematch of last year's state final. Lima Central Catholic takes on Cleveland Villa Angeles St. Joe's. And the Vikings are returning a lot of players from last year's state final, including top-ranked recruit Carlton Bragg, who will be attending Kansas next year. Meanwhile, for LCC, it's a little bit of a different look than last year's team, but they still made it back here to the state final. Big storyline for the T-Birds, Trey Cobbs injured his shoulder in the state semifinals. So how will that be a factor in tonight's game? Let's find out and get you to those highlights. LCC going for back-to-back -back state titles. Junior Trey Cobbs, his shoulder good enough to start the game. But Bragg made his presence felt right away. A big put-back slam to give the Vikings a 2 to nothing lead. LCC answers back. Cobbs drives and dishes to Jake Williams. First try is no good, but the senior sticks with it and ties the game up at two. Moments later, St. Joe's gets it to Derek Pardon. The 6'8 Northwestern bound senior hammers it home. Good start for VASJ. Later, Dantez Walton on the wing. He buries the 3-7-5. Vikings in front. T-Birds in transition now. Cobbs up ahead to Dixon. He goes up strong, comes away with the bucket and the foul. 11-9, Vikings lead. Still in the first, Dantez penetrates and finishes with the right hand. Nice play there. LCC down 16-15 after one. Second quarter now. Carlton Bragg on the bench with three fouls. But this is a deep team. And Brian Parker, bounce pass to Vaughn Johnson. He lays it in. LCC trying to keep pace. Cobbs leaves it for Cam White. His shot is blocked by Pardon. Brian Parker tracks down the loose ball. He's one of three Division I players on the VASJ roster. He's going to Marist, takes it coast to coast and one. Vikings are on a 9-0 run, even with Bragg on the bench. But LCC hanging tough. Cobbs misses the runner. Walton is there for the putback. T-Birds trail by five at the half. Third quarter, off the miss lay-in. There's Pardon again. Huge slam, 29-22 Vikings. LCC fires right back. Dixon on the wing. 11 points, five boards for the junior as the T-Birds are back within four. The ASJ played a great third quarter though. Bragg, nice pass to Parker. Team high, 17 points for Brian Parker. Bikes in transition now. Simon Texador to Johnson. Timeout LCC as the lead is up to 11. Still in the third quarter. Injury's a huge part of LCC's season. Trey Cobbs injured. This time it's the ankle. He would be okay and come back. Jake Williams and Ethan O'Connor also dealing with injuries in the game that they played through. Dantez trying to keep the birds in it. Drills the triple, 13 points for Walton, the lead LCC. After a couple Vikings baskets, Nick Tafflinger gets it on the other wing and he hits the three. LCC is within eight, but too much from St. Joe's. Bragg misses at the rim, but Pardon again, 15 points, 12 rebounds, nine blocks. As the Vikings build an 18 point lead and run away with it late. 63-50 the final. LCC ends the season as the 2015 state runners up. But they have absolutely nothing to hang their head about. It was a game of you know runs and I thought they made more runs than us. Uh, you know, I, I've always said defense and rebounding winning you those games. Obviously it was tied 31-31, but you know you can't you can't stop 6-9 and 6-10 the way that they the way that they uh, play the game of basketball. But I wouldn't trade. I wouldn't trade my team for that team because I've grown to love my team, and we play with a lot of heart, a lot of passion. It was always. It's not easy going against some big guys, and you just had to play fundamental and box out, which is kind of hard. Well, when Jake got hurt, we all just knew that it had to be the next man up mentality. That some other guy would have to step up and help the team out, getting rebounds and playing defense and stopping their big guys down low. Yeah, but defensively, we we exerted a lot of energy trying to get back end of the game when you know when we had to and they did a great job of being patient and getting getting the ball down inside tonight we didn't make any layups you know, last year we converted on some easy layups last year we didn't convert on those layups this year we're gonna miss our four seniors a lot you know they were uh, you know Jake Williams you can't replace and, and duplicate what he does so losing his three years of experience in the T-Bird uniform is not gonna be easy to replace congrats to the T-Birds on another fantastic run that's going to do it for this Sports Report update. I'm Matt Finkel in Columbus.